So in today's video, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at the SCBA tanks that most of the carbon fiber tanks that most of us use, uh, SCBA being self-contained breathing apparatus tanks. Uh, generally, these tanks are good, the carbon fiber wrapped ones, uh, for 15 year service life. Uh, but there is some, I'm looking over because uh, I just took a look and there's some uh, extended life services like from Digital Wave and other companies uh, that can extend the life of your bottles. Uh, that's a little bit more of a complicated issue, but for now, these are 15 year tanks. I use them for 15 years. If there's an easy way to extend it, I will. But what I really wanted to do today was just kind of take a look. This tank is up for its five year hydro. Um, this particular tank was made in February of 09. Let me show you some information on the bottle here. So taking a look at this tank, we have the gauge on the top here, uh, right near the valve. It's on both sides. There's another one on the other side uh, that reads up to 4,500. Yes, these are 310 bar, uh, which is 4,500 PSI. This particular tank happens to be a Draeger tank. Uh, and if you take a look here, there's some barcode with a number. That is the, the date that this was made on. And this is the uh, 209, which is February of 09, which means it's good until February of 24. And you can see it has the 4,500 PSI, the 310 bar fill. There's the dot number. There's some other specs on there. This happens to, I'm turning it right now. This happens to be my last hydro, which was September of 17. Okay, so it's time. I'm going to get this bottle uh, rehydro tested, even though it only has two more years, because it's still fine. Uh, for whatever it is, usually around 30, 40, 50 bucks, the little hydro. Uh, but before we do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty the air out of this slowly. I don't want to create any condensation. Uh, I don't know if it will, but uh, we'll let it out, you know, nice, nice and slow over, over a little bit of time. Let's empty this out. I'll get back on the video once it's down to zero. I'll show you that the, the gauge is zero. And then what I'll do is I'll unscrew uh, the top and we'll send a camera down just to take a look. And the reason I'm curious is because I've been using the uh, Young Hang with a bleed, but originally I didn't. I was just using the cotton filters and the desiccant. And I'm curious to see what's in here uh, over the last five years. Uh, I'm sure you are too. So let me get to that and then we'll be right back. Uh, finally let all the air out and I cracked open the top. I have not opened this. I did not turn it upside down in case there was water in it. Uh, I am very curious. So what we're gonna do is use a bore uh, scope to go down there. By the way, um, I just got some bore scope on Amazon. This is about 40 bucks or so. Uh, this one is the Test Long digital bore scope. Comes with a bunch of attachments. Uh, you can find this one or any other one on Amazon. What I'm going to do now is unscrew the top here. Uh, again, of course, never take this off uh, unless you are completely out of air. Do not do this with any air in it. Uh, by the way, to crack this open, I used a crescent wrench. Take a look at this picture. And I clamped the bottle down to my bench and I just used a little leverage and I got it cracked. It wasn't a big deal. Um, but you do want to be careful for your burst disc uh, that's here. Try not to use like I, I hurt mine uh, So with the crescent wrench. So you want to kind of take that off before you uh, apply the crescent wrench to this uh, neck here. But anyway, let's unscrew this. Here is, here is the valve with the stem, and that stem doesn't allow water, because remember, these are usually upside down on a fireman's back, these uh, SCBAs, which are self-contained breathing apparatus, not scuba, SCBA, no you, no underwater. Uh, and they're upside down like this, so if there is any water in there, it doesn't go into the fireman's or you know, breathing mask, send mist into your mask. So anyway, there is an O-ring, uh, which now will have to be replaced. This looks like it's in pretty good shape. So I'm gonna put that aside. I have not looked in here. We're gonna look in here together. I'm just gonna tilt it. You know what I'm gonna do? Right here on the table. <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's any water. I'm, I'm curious, let's see what happens. Can you see this? Yeah, I think you can. Wow, look at this. No water whatsoever. And remember, I, I'm i curious, I, I'm surprised. I thought there would be water in here for sure. Dude, I have this thing upside down, 
on the neck, on the table. I thought there would be at least a little bit of water. There is nothing. So now we're going to send the scope down. Uh, I'm very pleased about that. I'm going to be sending this camera down. Uh, at the same time, I'll be recording it, recording it <laughs> on the PC. So let me hit the record button and uh, let's see what it looks like. So I have now set the recording on. Let's send it in. Wow, this is exciting. Okay. I'm going to go right to the bottom first. Okay, I'm scraping along the walls. Oh, there's it. Ah, looks like there's something there. Ah. Okay. Wow, check that out. So look at that. That looks like some pitting in the... Remember, this is an aluminum bottle wrapped in carbon fiber. And right now I'm laying it along the bottom. So this is going along the bottom. And that doesn't look too good to me. Wow. Okay, I'm all the way... I'm at the bottom. So I can't really see much. Okay. Let's see what we can see here with an angle. Ooh, not much. Okay, now I can go along. Okay, now I'm at the bottom. I'm rotating on the bottom. Um, I don't really see too much wrong. Okay. That didn't look so bad. Okay, let's try that again. Hmm. I don't know what that is. All right, I'm going now I'm going along the top. Um not sure what that is. That looks like a little bit of pitting. Okay. Okay. That's at the very bottom. Now you can see. So there's the mirror and then the camera looking at the bottom. Oh, what is that? Okay, hold on. Ah, look at that. I'm not sure if that's a scratch or a fracture. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's just a scratch or a fracture. You see that there? All right, well, I don't really see too much. So what's really interesting about now having taken a look at this after five years of using the Young Hang compressor, the only issue, man, when I used to use hydraulic oil in the compressor, it stunk this, uh, this bottle out. Uh, they do say the best way to clean it was at some orange cleaner. I'll try to use some orange cleaner. Uh, but I was surprised that there was zero, I mean zero water in this bottle. I thought for sure there was going to be water in here. Nothing. Even when I was using the gold filters. So, uh, I mean, that's five years. I would say probably 20 Phillips every year at least uh, for each bottle. I have two bottles. Um, it's pretty good. I, I have to say I'm pretty confident now. I was, I was curious. And by the way, this bottle is at the end of its life. It's got about a year and a half left. So 02, uh, February of 9, that means it's good until February of 24. So that's uh, about a year and a half from now, even less. Uh, I'm probably not going to have this rehydro tested. I'm done with it. I'm probably just going to keep it as a, a memento of what I have been, you know, what I went through as my, one of my first bottles. Um, yeah, visually, it's okay. Uh, looking inside, it looks like there might be might be one little fracture at the bottom, but I'm not sure. Could be that I 
I scratch the bottom with the uh, with the point of the camera. So it looks pretty good. Zero water. Um, I would imagine I could probably send this in to have it uh, extended life. They'll check it out, look for stress fractures. Um, the outside of this bottle may not be pretty, um, but there is no significant uh, fractures or chipping. Uh, this coating on the outside is just, you know, a little worn uh, from, you know, normal fireman's use. Um, this, this bottle came from Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, it says Phoenix Fire Department on it. Uh, that's where I bought it. But uh, yeah, uh, again, I really just wanted to bring that to you and take a look at what happens to your bottle after five years of young hang use. Um, pretty good shape. It's okay. Zero, zero water. I was really surprised when I turned it upside down that there was nothing. Um, so anyway, hope that was interesting. Um, I'm probably just going to keep it as a souvenir. I'm probably just going to keep it as a souvenir. 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 I'm probably just going to keep it as a, a memento 